But I never put my face like this. <clears throat> You're fine. Okay. All right, Bulldog Boxing here. Let's discuss the recent fights. First of all, uh, I want to address Tremaine Williams with another impressive uh, performance in Philly at the Fillmore. Uh, he's 15 and 0 now, and we're hoping to see him fight in uh, or on May 14th, May 12th, sorry, at Madison Square Garden. But let's discuss the heavyweight division, Anthony Joshua. Dad, what did you think about the Anthony Joshua Joseph Parker fight? Uh, well, I'm not a real avid boxer fan, to be honest with you. Uh, however, I have watched a lot of boxing in my day. Uh, 64. Like Ali, uh, Joe Frazier, uh, Jerry Cooney, all those guys that uh, were boxing back when I was watching. And uh, in comparison to this fight with uh, uh, um, what was his name again? Uh, Joshua. And Joshua. Uh, the, the fight was not good. It was not good at all. There, there was no boxing. It was dancing and grabbing and holding on. It was. Uh, Again, in my opinion, and like I told you, I'm not an avid boxer fan or anything like that, but uh, just watching it, I mean, anybody could have said uh, this fight sunk. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> you thought the fight was shit. Well, I As didn't want to swear. <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't enjoy the fight. I mean, and whoever paid money to see that fight, I'm sorry to hear that you paid money to see that fight. And the referee's performance? Oh, he was hugging everybody. That guy, that guy couldn't uh, keep away from the uh, fighters for crying out loud. What yeah. the hell was that all about? Yeah, that's what we don't know. I, I mean, in I, the I, old I, days, the, bo the, the the referee let the boxers fight. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, yesterday watching that fight, it was terrible. Not only with the the, the, the match itself, but with the referee jumping in every two yeah. minutes. Yeah, seconds. I think the referee, what he wanted to do was he wanted to make sure they they didn't go. You know, beyond the lines, and he wanted to try to control the fight, which was a good thing in, in a hug fest fight. But it wasn't a hug fest fight. Bradley, if, did you see that fight? Yeah, I watched they it. did not go beyond the lines. No, they didn't. They at didn't all. even fight. Nope. It was ridiculous. No, I, I think no he, big slugs. I mean, Jesus. It was, was not much. Was nothing. Which leads me to the conclusion: if Joshua and Wilder fight. I think Wilder has the advantage because Wilder is going to bring it to his ass. And Joshua is going to try to box, which is, is very smart. But when Wilder come, comes to him, which he will, he's going to bring it to his ass. Now, the problem is if Wilder can't knock him out, Joshua can definitely, uh, definitely win a decision in the UK. We saw those scorecards were very ugly, 119, 111, or whatever the hell it was. I mean, terrible. Uh, so Wilder does not want to go over there and deal with the judges. Um, but Wilder's going to bring it to him. The problem is Wilder's going to take at least six rounds, I think, to open up with Joshua's boxing skills. So he's going to give away a lot of rounds. So what's going to happen is Wilder has got to bring it to him early and often, and, and in the late rounds, he's going to have to open up. But he's going to leave himself open for punches and don't... You know, don't get me wrong, Joshua can punch, and Joshua's a strong guy. I just don't think he's as good as what people thought he was. Um, yeah, they're no Ali's, they're not the Frazier and the Foreman's, they don't have the skills, they both started later in life, both of them uh, had a late start on their career, but they're big, strong, athletic guys, and that's what brings them this far. I don't dislike either of them. They're both good fighters. They both can fight. You know, a lot of people are hating on both of them, but uh, both of them can fight. Uh, but the Parker Joshua fight, it, it was a letdown. Like it was my, terrible. Like Dad said, I wouldn't have wanted to pay a ticket for that damn fight. It was terrible. But we will be in New York live, live in New York, May 12th. Lomachenko. I got, I got Lomachenko up there, don't I? No, it's Golovkin. Uh, Lomachenko versus Linares, which will be a wonderful fight. I won 135 pounds. Lomachenko going to his, what, for his third divisional title? Uh, he's got one at 126, 130, 135. I don't think he goes higher than 135, though, because he's just... Uh, He's a small guy. I saw him in New York, and he is not a big guy at all. I mean, he's a small guy. He can't go up too high. My son was showing me some uh, 
highlights of uh, his fight, along with Wilder's fight, which I'll talk about in a second. But this guy's fight, I like the way he just spins around and then <laughs> comes up with, with a jab when he's almost around the back of the guy. And that's where he makes some good punches yeah. and knocked, knocked a couple of guys out with the highlights that I saw. Yeah. And that Wilder guy, oh my God. Uh, that guy from England, he better watch out. Yeah. He better watch out because I, I saw agree. highlights of the Wilder. He showed me highlights of the Wilder fights also. And uh, that Wilder, he's an animal. Yeah. And he's going to do some serious butt kicking. <laughs> yep. Take that yeah. to the bank. We, we, you know, he's very old school. People uh, down him for the way he throws his punches and he gets a wild and he falls on people. But, I mean, it... It's, it's very primal. I mean, he's just tough as nails, and he comes to fight. He's not afraid of anybody. And let me address something, too. He says something on the morning club about he wants to catch a body, and people are real hurt about it. Uh, but if you, if you listen to what he said, he said the bronze bomber wants to do that. So he's talking about his persona in the ring. Not that he wants to take somebody out. But the mentality of the bronze bomber goes at people, and they're relentless. So be clear on it before you get, you know, in your feelings too much. But we got an old school boxing guy here, and your dad, his favorite boxer. You know who it was? Yeah, yeah he liked Muhammad Ali. Nope. Oh. Who was your dad's favorite boxer? Craig Joe Johnson. Johnson. Joe Lewis? George Foreman. Oh, Georgie. Yeah. He liked, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that. He that. tells me every time. Does he really? He loves George Foreman. I really didn't know that. I love the heck out of George Foreman. And my father's not an avid boxer either. And he by the way, back, he, back in the day, he's still watching. He's still kicking. Is he 88? Is he older than that? Uh, on the 6th of April, he'll be 88. Oh, okay. Yeah. A young fella. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he calls me his older brother. <laughs> what a... Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I think we covered it. Yeah, that sounded go good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you look good on camera. You look pretty decent too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What? No. You know, I didn't get my makeup. Hey. Raven, yeah. come say bye. Yeah, we can go further, but uh, I think we'll end it shortly. Again, Wilder, mark my words. Take it to the bank. Wilder, if he, if he fights that other guy from England, he's going to knock him out in like the seventh round. Without a doubt. That's a big seventh prediction. Round. Wow. Yeah. Uh, the problem is he's got to knock him out because you can't let him go to the scorecards in the UK. They, oh, they were gonna, yeah, they're going to give it to the UK. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. So we got to be careful. I like Joshua too. I'm not the guy that dislikes Joshua. He's got a great personality. He seems like a really good guy. If anything, you know, Wilder's one that rubs people wrong. But with that being said, I, Wilder's a good guy too. Yes. That's uh, Margarito. And that's uh, Pacquiao. They fought. Oh, so let's end it. Bulldog boxing. We'll be back soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, you say bye. Say bye. Say bye, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, Vince